Hey guys, have you seen these focal reducers? Those cheapy ones that normally are like inch and a quarter for like 20 to $30? Let's take a look at them. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel again. You know it's your best friend in astronomy, science, and telescope. Well, I hope at least one of them. Thank you for all the members that subscribed lately. Thanks for all the members that's been with me since the beginning. I appreciate you all. Now, you know those cheap focal reducers? Now, normally, focal reducers are really meant for the imagers, mostly these days, to get a reduced the the focal length so they can get a wider field of view but you can also use them visually as well now the most common one is the Meteor Celestron there's a few other names Antares has one and a few other names now but Meteor and Celestron are the two most popular ones uh, they make it for an SCT which converts it in f10 to an f6.3 now normally for like refractors, they're very specialized to that specific refractor, and they're very expensive. Sometimes the lower name brand, like the Sky Watchers and the GSOs, you're looking at about you know three hundred dollars. And some of the big name brands or the special ones made can go up to like six, seven hundred dollars. So they're fairly expensive. Now they have these inch and a quarter cheapy ones on AliExpress. I got this one from the Antares name brand, and this one's a two inch, so it's actually a bit bigger than the inch and a quarter one. And again, it's supposed to do the same thing on a refractor, it's supposed to lower the focal length so you get a wider field of view. If you have a larger refractor, like an F10, F, well, if it's F12, there's not too many of those anymore, but really F8, F10. Um, because there are some items that are going to be pretty big. Like the Andromeda Galaxy is about six times the width of a full moon. Another one that I like to use this four inch F5 refractor is for North American Nebula. It is also about five and a half, almost six degree field of view. Very few telescopes, if any, can get that big of a field of view. I have tried using a 120 millimeter, which is the bigger brother of this one, uh, and it doesn't fit in that field of view, even with a big wide uh, two inch eyepiece, because it's 600 millimeter focal length. This guy is 500 millimeter focal length. I think you could just fit it with a tiny bit of space on it, but would be nice if I could reduce the focal ratio of it and the focal length and actually see it with a big space around it. And the reason is because sometimes when you look at something too close and it fills the whole field of view, you can't tell the shape from the background because it's you're so close to it. But if you can shrink it and you can see the space around it, okay, and then your item is easier to see even though it's smaller. So I wanna test out this guy. Now I don't know, so this is an Antares version, so I figure I want a better quality one than the AliExpress because the inch and a quarter you can probably get it for 20 to 25 bucks on there and maybe the two inch version uh, at least 40 bucks or uh, but again remember it's a two inch not inch and a quarter so it's going to be more expensive and I thought maybe the Antares version might be slightly better quality made in Canada there and um, this is a 0 0.5 reduction or in half so I thought, I'm not sure of this guy because it is already really wide and by reducing the focal length even more, is it gonna have lots of curvature or astigmatism type of thing? So I don't know if it's gonna work or maybe it has to be on a longer type of refractor like an F8, try to bring it down to the F4. But again, does it really correct? Because I'm thinking it probably can do it, It'll shrink your focal length and ratio of it, but I think it's also going, you're gonna lose some image quality or, you know, the, let's see how much percentage, or is it gonna be like 50% in outer is gonna have like, the stars are not gonna be tight, they're gonna 
have coma or that type of thing. So lots of curvature. So let's test it out and see. So I want to try it in the daytime. Maybe I'm going to get my two inch uh, diagonal and then let's see if we can kind of get this guy in focus and look at a couple things. We'll be back. Okay, so I got a two inch diagonal here and it looks like this guy threads on. Okay, and we're going to try looking through and see if there's a difference. But first, you know what I should do? Is take it off. Let's get a low power, see how the image looks, and then put it on the focal reducer and see does it get wider? Does the image get crappier? Um, let's take it from there. Okay, right now we're going to be looking, I'm going to blow it up, that telephone pole over there. This one right here. We're going to take a look at it first. Just with the 32 millimeter with no focal reducer. And I'm going to see how much space is on it. And then we're going to put it on and then I will show you guys. Okay, so for the first thing is it won't focus at least at this distance with the focal reducer. Okay guys, so I tried an extension tube and that doesn't work either. So now I think what I'll do is try, I'm gonna try focusing in a two inch eyepiece. I have an Axiom, 31 millimeter, 82 degree field of view. I'm gonna try focusing something even further now. And then I'm gonna try with the focal reducer and see two inch eyepiece. I can see, let's go back to that telephone pole. Okay, and now let's try screwing this into here because it's a two inch eyepiece. It should thread. Yeah. Let's see what happens. Oh, it does work. Yes. I don't know if that's 50%. Let me do it on something else over. I'm looking at a tree. So we're looking at that tree there now. It's not super far, but, uh, and that pole, and it did work. But I don't think that was 50%. Let me try again, okay. So, actually, let me do with, the focal reducer on, I can see the light, I can see the trees, just saw a bird. Okay, now let me take it off. Let's see up to there, and a little bit up there. Okay, let's put it back. Okay, yeah, a bit more. I don't think it's 50%. It could be a good 30%. But I wonder if that would help. Now looking again at the like Andromeda Galaxy, the Pelican Nebula, the North American Nebula, it's gonna shrink it a bit more so you're gonna be able to see more of the item with more space around it, then you can see it. Instead of it filling the whole space, you can't see where it starts and ends. So it does work. Let me show you guys. Let me see if I can just put it quickly to the eyepiece and then you guys tell me. Okay, so this is with the focal reducer and I'm just holding it with my hands because I don't have a camera adapter that's for two inches. Remember, I'm holding it, but I can't really see the trees here. Now, in the eyepiece, without it, I can't see the trees at the very edge but there's no way I could get that camera or to look at the sides like you can with your eye. And with it on, you saw the trees, but you still are not seeing as much as the tree as I can visually because the camera can't go to that wide. So it does work, but it doesn't seem like it's 50% uh, focal reducer. Looks like it's about 30%, but I think for those few items, like I said, it could help. I was hoping if it was a true 
okay? Maybe I can just use the Takahashi because it's 800 millimeter focal length. If I can divide it by half, then it's 400. Actually 100 millimeter less than this guy, which is 500 millimeter focal length. And then I wouldn't even need this guy because really the only thing I use this guy for is mainly solar viewing and for the North American Nebula because really no telescope that can really get it. So um, I gotta just see if it's worth hanging on to this guy for two items. I mean, looking at the sun, I can just get put a solar filter on the Takahashi. Keeping a telescope for one item, it doesn't really make sense, you know what I mean? It's 30% means it's gonna bring it down to about 500. 550 or something that which actually you know what that's exactly what this one is so maybe that would be a good idea what do you guys think then i don't need this guy because if the if it does reduce it by 30 percent that one is bring it down to this and then i don't need this guy then the only thing that i'm using this guy is solar and i really don't do solar that much very few uh, times uh, and again, I can put a solar, like a white light uh, solar filter on that one, and then that's it. This guy is obsolete. So maybe I will just let this one go uh, because I have too many anyway, and there's too many duplications type of thing. Anyway, that's it. So it does work, guys. So you have to put that focal reducer, if it's the inch and a quarter, or like, like this two inch, has to go in the eyepiece barrel. Anyway, guys, that's it for this episode. Joe Jaguar, like, comment, and subscribe. If you know anybody getting in the hobby, share my channel with them. If you know anybody on the forums and maybe they've asked a question like that, share, share the video with them. I do have a members video uh, posted up here and how to join. It's only 99 cents a month and I put a video on there that's only for the patreon members that's not going to go on the regular channel so that's the benefit you get plus i put your name on the description and you don't have to join if you don't want to but it helps the channel grow why not you why not me